here at the Wanganui Holiday Park Camp where the Blogmobile was parked overnight and Chester Burroughs, the MP for Wanganui, has kindly joined us on his way back from Taupo where you've been at a sensible sentencing conference. That's right. Mm. And all that. Look, we've been round and about Wanganui today. People are in a happy mood it seems with the rugby one. Oh, yep, yep, they've done very well. 27-12, wasn't it? Yeah, but be him in the Wellington-Canterbury game. Yeah, 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 yeah well, mm, there you go. Win some, lose some. Yeah, that's right. Well, what are people telling or saying to you, Chester, is the biggest issue for people in your electorate? Um, probably two real big ones. One's health, one's crime. So uh, uh, crime is something that's been on everyone's radar, you know, huge media coverage, and so... Everyone um, sees it as being on their back doorstep. Wanganui District Council's taken a stand over gangs. Uh, that's been both popular and unpopular. That's sort of polarised a little bit. But uh, that's a big one. The other one is um, continuity of health services at both ends of the electorate, so both in Hawara, South Taranaki and in Wanganui, mainly around shortage of staff in key areas. So uh, that's going to be quite big. And I guess there is a third one which is hugely important to our rural um, guys and that's the whole ETS and the impact on farming. Now, you talked about polarising now. The, the local mayor is somewhat polarising. People love him or hate him, etc. How have you found your relationship with him? I've found it's been very good, actually. Uh, prior to becoming the MP, uh, I didn't register on his radar. Uh, since then, we've got on very well. We have uh, fairly, we've had fairly regular meetings, uh, and we've talked about local issues. And I think we've worked pretty well together, particularly on the Wanganui Gang Insignia Bill. Now, you first stood for Parliament in 2002. No, uh, I first stood in 1999. Oh, and I had a crack at selection yes. for Taranaki King Country. Remember on on um, Jim Bolger's demise? Yeah. Now, was that your first foray into? politics or did you ever get involved even at university student politics or no anything? well I, I came to university late so uh, my first go was oh, oh, being involved with the national party uh, from uh, the early 90s but uh, as a candidate for the first time in 1999 and um, stood, lost, uh, stood again in 2002 lost and thankfully stood sick in 2005 isn't now we've got our elections November the 8th but three days before or the United States elections, yep. and I think a lot of people are following them. If you could vote in the US elections, would you be voting Obama or McCain? Obama, as early and often as I could, probably. Yeah, big fan. Well, I, you know, I sit to the, I sit on the left of the spectrum within the National Party, and uh, I'm, I would very much be a Democrat as far as uh, as American politics go, and. I think that as soon as Obama came on the scene, he captured the imagination of quite a few people who sort of sit on that area of the spectrum where I am. Okay, coming back to New Zealand politics, um, we only get to vote for one party on the party vote, but hypothetically, if you could rank the parties, like from your best to your least, yep. of all the parties, whether in Parliament or parties outside, who would be the party that you would least want to ever vote for? Ooh. It's a hard one. Um, well, I, I wouldn't. I couldn't see myself ever voting for the Greens. Um, you want me to come up the ranks from there? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a fine answer. Yeah, yeah. And finally, question for the future: Cunliffe or Goff? Um, Goff. Uh, yeah, I think Goff's got the grunt and the pedigree. But my prediction is that they will rattle through leaders in a similar way to the way Labor did between Longy and Clark, and in a similar way we did between Bolger and Key. Well, thank you very much for popping in to see us. Chester, have a good safe drive. Cheers. Thanks for the chance.